What's up, Honors? I'm Alex, as always, and welcome back to the channel. So as of today, Friday, July 12th, we're about a week away from Home Depot's massive Halloween drop happening next Thursday. And for this massive drop, I believe they'll be releasing all of their new Halloween stuff for 2024, or at least most of it, in both Canada and the US at the same time, which is really awesome. And recently, Home Depot, over the last couple of days, has been giving us some new little sneak peeks into what could be releasing on Thursday. So today, we'll be checking out these new sneak peeks so let's get started. So hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Like I mentioned in the intro today, we're checking out some sneak peeks from Home Depot for their 2024 lineup. And in these sneak peeks, not only does it reveal to us some new animatronics we haven't really seen yet before, but it also shows some new decorations, props, and inflatables, which are really exciting to see for 2024. So of course, let's get ready to look at these by checking out one of my favorite themes that I could find in these teasers. All right, so in this first clip on screen right now, if you look back there in that little corner, you can see a brand new Donald Duck inflatable, which I'm really excited about. Or at least I think it's brand new. I've never seen it at Home Depot Canada before. It may have been in the US. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now, I'm not usually the type of person to buy not really scary stuff for my haunt. But if this inflatable right here comes to Canada, I will immediately be buying this. This thing is just so cool and I'd love to have this in my display. He's also got this like vampire looking costume on, which is also really cool. Overall, definitely go buy this if this thing comes to Canada. And moving on to the next clip right here, you can tell it's just the 12 foot skeleton, but there's something awesome about this guy, which is that it looks like the new 12 foot skeletons are gonna have servo heads. I'm really curious if all of the new 12 foot skeletons are gonna have these servo heads, or if there's gonna be two versions of the 12 foot skeleton, one with the servos and one without. But whatever it is, I think it's really cool that they're adding life to this character. I always think he needed some sort of movement, so for them to add this servo head to the 12 foot skeleton, it honestly looks really awesome and maybe it'll even make me want to buy the 12 foot skeleton even more this year but overall this animatronic is probably one of the ones i'm most curious to see about because i think the new 12 foot skeletons are coming to canada i hope that they do have the servo heads of course but yeah it'll be cool to see and in the same video after it shows us the 12 foot skeleton it gives us a look at the new skeleton dog animatronic for this year which this guy, we already got a bunch of information when he got released a while back. But seeing more about this guy, he just looks awesome. He's a really good animatronic that you can buy to display with your 12-foot skeleton. I love how it has those LCD eyes too, and I think it has the eight programmable ones too, just like the new 12-foot skeletons for this year. And overall, I love the design of it. That skeleton head looks sick. The rest of the dog overall looks awesome. And I think it's only going to be $200, which is not too bad price for how big this is. Overall, it looks like he's going to be another awesome animatronic for this year. And then after that clip at the end of this one video, we get to see another prop for this year, which this we have not seen anything yet about, I don't think. But this here is the brand new Headless Horseman, which looks awesome. I love the look of this new Horseman prop. The horse on it looks awesome. I love the mold for it. And then, of course, it also has this shiny, silvery look to it, which is also really awesome. I also love the skeleton rider on this guy, too. It looks like it has just that classical skeleton look. But then, of course, he's also wearing clothing, which also looks pretty sick. I can't wait to see full photos of this animatronic, even videos of it, because I'm curious more about what it's animatronic animation is going to be and just more about the overall look of this but from this little teaser this scene looks insane and now moving back over to the original video i showed earlier with dog duck there's a bunch of stuff revealed in this clip too like if you remember last year we had the little three foot skeletons which were a small version of the 12 foot skeleton and this year we're also gonna have a small version of the inferno pumpkin in a three foot form which this also looks like an awesome prop and i think it's cool that some of these massive animatronics are making smaller versions of i think it'd be cool for other stores to do this too with their 12 foot props because it just looks awesome and to have a smaller version is really cool because you could have just an army of these in your yard. Really insane. And then in another clip here, we have another new animatronic, which is one I'm really excited about. I love this guy. This guy right here looks like a new scarecrow prop for this year. He looks like he has head movement and arm movement and... I love the look of this guy. He's a really cool looking scarecrow. And it says on his price tag there, I believe, only $100, which is also a good deal. I really hope this guy comes to Canada. I love scarecrow animatronics. This guy would definitely be one I'd be interested in getting. Don't feel like it would come to Canada, but if it would, 
That would be awesome. This guy might have to be one that I'd pick up too. And in the same clip, we can also see the guy there holding a new doll animatronic for see, which is also cool. It looks like just a small one, one of those three foot ones, like lots of other props they have each year. And I like the look of it. It has kind of like that doll looking face, which is kind of like gray and everything. I like how it looks. Cool and everything is also good. Another solid little animatronic for this year. Looking at the floor there, we can also see another new prop in box that... We've already seen a little bit of belt so far, but it's this new Nosferatu prop, which I believe is a reskin of that Boogeyman prop from last year. And this new vampire version, I think he looks pretty cool. I love the Boogeyman that last year, so it'll be awesome to see a reskin of that guy in a vampire form. I'm really excited to see more information about this prop too. And now finally to end off checking out these two clips, there's one awesome inflatable that we can also see in the background, which this guy I'm also really excited to see more about. But this is a brand new skeleton archway inflatable, which looks really awesome. The two different arches are supposed to be his arms, which look interesting. I like how he has the hands there that looks like they're grabbing towards you. And then, of course, the head on top also looks nice. Overall, it's another good archway inflatable. It'd be perfect to have in a graveyard or something. And yeah, that's basically all the cool stuff I could find in these videos. So with all that said, that of course is going to finish it for today's video, everyone. Hopefully you did enjoy checking out these two new teaser videos for Home Depot for 2024. I will have a video coming out on Thursday once all the new stuff gets released. I'm really curious to see what Canada gets that day and also just see what the US also gets. Maybe I'll pre-order stuff, but who knows? I'll just honestly have to see, but usually I wait to buy stuff in person, so I don't really know. But anyways... That's it for today. I'll see you all in the next video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and go check out my amusement park fan if you love amusement parks, which is linked down in the description. And I'll see you all next time. Have a good day. Goodbye.